Hi everyone and welcome to another 427 video and we have bought ourselves the cheapest Mercedes W123 estate in the country. Shall we? Yes, let's. Can we run? <laughs> <laughs> And here she oh and here she is leave that badge alone so connor hello talk us through what is our new project Ooh, project project is a dirty word isn't it oh talk us oh. through our really good running and driving car that's going to be on the road very soon <laughs> right so what you're looking at is the one two three series of mercedes most of you will probably know that already, but this is the estate version. And this has a 2.4 diesel engine, which is good for how many miles an hour? Having been the only person here to have driven it, um, struggled to hit 55. Struggled. She was most comfortable at 40. That's what you want. That's it. Mm. So, Connor, tell us the story of buying it. Where did you get it? Ballina, County Mayo. How far is County Mayo from here? Ooh, it's about a six hour round trip as we found out in the Jag. Which, did it break down the entire trip? No. no Was it, it good on fuel the whole trip? Yeah, for some reason, yeah. Thanks, that's all I wanted. Right, video's over. <laughs> <laughs> and how much did we pay for this fine automobile? We paid about £1,900 for it. £2,100. Euros. Euros? No, we can't isolate ourselves from the southern people by talking with a weird no, no, accent. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, now we're going to walk around it and show you what we've got. So, Connor, we'll start by, do you want to pop the bonnet and show these lovely people how nice this thing is under the bonnet? This is the Mercedes OM616, which is the four cylinder 2.4, naturally aspirated diesel engine. How many horsepowers? Somewhere between 60 and 70. In a car that weighs about 1.3 tons. And how many horsepowers is it likely to still have today? How many ponies have left the stable? It might have 50 still if we're lucky. I think that might be ambitious. Having driven it driven that i think that might be ambitious but that's okay so look at this right self-leveling rear suspension that actually still works somehow that is the biggest miracle of any mercedes estate as any mercedes estate owner will tell you i'm pretty sure my brother had a w211 which is 2005 and it's broke so the fact that this one's working on a the 40, 40, give 40, odd, 40 odd year old vehicle. It's good, it's impressive. Peachy. So we're going creature comforts. What do you got? Not a lot. Oh. Right now we don't even have a, a glow plug light. It sort of finishes about here when it should be in there. Ah. Um, in fact, looking at it, eh. Uh, don't look at that. Eh. Uh, yeah, somebody's been here before and it was a, uh, it wasn't Ed Chen, well it might have been Ed Chen actually. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't watch this. We do have power steering though. Power steering, nice. Nice. Very nice, yeah. Uh, I think that is basically it, isn't it? Yeah, like, there's not a lot. Uh, it's the Mercedes four-speed automatic gearbox as well. Nice, but we'll get into that when we get into the car. Yeah. So, yeah, that does it for the engine bay. Actually, hang on. Can we just point out... Look look how good it's nice. This is it? like Yeah, there's some scabs, but I mean for the price we paid for this thing, that's it's not bad. That is insanely good. So let's go inside. Like a golf. What what uh, uh. You didn't know I was Sony. recording and you tried to hide that. Sony radio. Okay, so, green, oh, stained. Stained green, well, it's actually just rainwater, but we'll get into that later. Okay, interesting. Good start <laughs> on the car with the sunroof. Anyway, so, talk to us. It's green. 
Oh, so you don't want to say it when it's angry then? Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably just leave that too. <laughs> so let's get in here. Jump on in. What do we got? Talk to us, Connor. You've got pretty standard Mercedes interior in here. You've got your gear select. You've got your broken heater dials. You've got your radio by Maxim. It, it looks like a Mazda logo. Uh, it, it's Mazda font. If anybody can tell us in the comments if this is actually like an OAM Mazda radio, because... It's definitely Jap what it Maxim did... Uh, magazines with ladies on. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going to say cassette player or video players. Did they? I think so. Got your ashtray because it's the 70s. So, what are these bios? Okay, right. So, this looks like headlight. Dippity for Dippity do for toe do. <laughs> Aye, that's self leveling yeah. yes. headlights for your thing. rear window demister. Which Does it might, work? We don't know. Maybe. Nice. I think this is the rear windscreen wiper, which doesn't work. Nice. That's the taxi light, which doesn't work. Nice. And that's possibly the rear window wash, which doesn't work. Nice. So we just have a pile of doesn't work. Nice. Okay. Well, at least not blind. At least. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. So tell us the interesting thing about this. It can open either way. Which is actually just really annoying if you. That were... actually just looks like it doesn't close at all. If, the way you did that. <laughs> if you were driving, you might like try and reach over for that. You'd have to get it right in the middle to close it. Yeah. That's a hand win. Yeah, it is. Big Mercedes gauges with everything you need, like the time, because you will measure acceleration in hours in this thing. Yeah, funny, I actually prefer having a clock to a rev counter. You don't need one, it's automatic. That's it. <laughs> it, it does it for you. You've got your uh, speedometer that only goes to 100. Ambitious. 60 is probably where you're going to get. 60 you might as well be where the 100 is, to be honest. I'd feel like it was going faster if the 60 was yeah. where the 100 was. <laughs> You have fuel tank, temperature, and oil pressure, which is pretty standard for any Mercedes from God, the, the 50s right up. Really. Can I admit something? Yeah. As the only person who drove this, yeah. see that oil pressure gauge? Yeah. See when you turn this on? Yeah. It just goes straight to the top and it never moves. No, that's that's good. Really, Connor? Yeah. Really, Connor? The engine should be quite warm for it to drop down to about 30. Hmm. Okay, take your word for it. Well... If that's not working, we'll find out later. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Got your glow plug light that's not connected. Yep. You have pretty stuff. Like, it I just have... feels like I'm in a slightly older 190. Yeah. Mercedes just kept the same sort of design cues the whole way through, really. This is. If it ain't broke, don't break it. Yeah, pretty much. Got this pistol grip hand brake over here. Pistol grip oh, on my left at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. I had one music reference in for everybody who has said, oh, I love the music references. Yeah, we... Have people said that? Yes. I, I know, right? <laughs> so, you've got a visor. Or a This is mirror. a visor, which is a slightly different colour to the rest of the interior. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> got two vanity mirrors, which definitely wasn't standard. Um, no? Got a... Oh, okay. Oh, it's the wrong colour, isn't it? This is definitely... Is it the wrong colour? Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, like a different trim altogether. This is some car. Yeah. Unreal. Got a manual sunroof. Which is the only way to have a sunroof, really, because then it won't break. But it might let water in. Might. Definitely does. Yeah, I was thinking it does. But we'll come back to that. We're just pointing out the good things at the minute, and when we'll go around and do the... Oh, yeah, I should have said. This is just the good stuff. <laughs> then we'll come back... Are good things? <laughs> then we'll come back and do the flaws. Well, tell you one good thing. Look at how much space this thing has. Lots. There'll be some crack hat in the back of that. There will. In a PG way. Yep. When you have it. <laughs> and something else he didn't point out, apart from the stains. <laughs> Windy boy windows. Hello, people walking past. Windy boy windows, which means they won't break. And by that, I mean they will break, but it'll be less of an inconvenience than when the electric ones do. And they can go as fast as I can. <laughs> See? Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> So this is the back end of the W123. Can I point out that the T... It's for Touring and Und Transport. Not turbo. And the D stands for... Diesel. Diesel. And 2.4 or 240 stands for slow. Yeah, it does. 
So, lock. Oh, 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 yeah, it's got no. It's got one. To that, oh, you're holding it. Okay. It, yeah. One problem is the boot struts uh, just the, they either aren't there or they don't know they are there, but they don't work. They're not holding it up. They're a lovely German design, so they're right inside there where you can't get to them. Yep. I said to him we could very easily get to them if he'd let me attack it with a grinder or there, but he won't. So, so let's get the let's get Ricky's uh, clearing stick. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you want to do the honors? Because I'm videoing. Yeah. So that fits nicely in there. Did that come with it? Yeah, it did. Were they an optional extra or? Maybe. Let's, <laughs> let's ask them shaders. So, what have we got here, Sunshine? We don't have. <laughs> <laughs> That's not meant to come up. Okay. We don't have rear seats. We don't, which I wish we did. Because my man and dad years ago had one of these. And I wasn't even born. So I'm talking like I was there. But I actually wasn't. But it had seven seats. We don't yet. So we just have this wee tray instead. Does the job. Does not really. Not no. if you wanted seats. So what's what, what's this mess all about here, Connor? So there's actually speakers up here. Which I thought was you awesome. Did, you didn't think there was gonna be. No, I did not. But there's actually a set of speakers. Oh, that sounded good. Um So what are all these wires? <laughs> I imagine they're for the taxi light, but there's quite a lot of them for one light. Yeah. So maybe speakers as well, I don't know. Uh, well, yeah. we'll go into our plans afterwards to tell you about speakers and yeah. stuff. So, But yeah, that's that's it. Do you want to put the back seats up so people know it actually has back seats as opposed to thinking this is actually a hearse? Yeah, there's a challenge. Oh, God. Right, I think there's a lever here that if you push that lever down, it might... It does. Oh. There's nice. your seat backs. Here's your seat belts. Oh. Clicks into place like it should. It does actually, doesn't it? Uh, these should fold down. But you can't see that on the camera. No, you can't see any of this on the camera. I do realise now in <laughs> hindsight that positioning was not great. And that clicks into place like it should. Yeah. Right. Yes, I may get the camera so you can actually see that. Et voila. Nice springy 70s Mercedes seats. They actually look clean in this shot. They're not. <laughs> They're not. Ooh, it's got nets on the back, more windy boys. Nets are always like this. Are they? Plastic goes in them, yeah. My wool 90 had it as well. Sad. <laughs> That's sad. So, shall we fire it up? Yeah. That's one of the last steps before we talk about how bad it is. Yeah. Okay, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That shot was going to go a lot better in my head. Yeah. Connor, can you do us the honour of showing us the coolest part about this wagon? Yes, I can. And you know what I'm about to say? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, it's hard to see. <laughs> yeah, they're not showing up very well. Oh, they are here. There we go. Yeah. Yellow tinted headlights because Euro spec is life. Awesome. <laughs> Have you been heating it that whole time? Probably should have. <laughs> Only imagine in your head the amount of time it takes for glow plugs to heat. You've never owned a diesel. Never owned a diesel. So let's try now. <laughs> On the button. On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you and how quick it starts? Very. That, that's not 10. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> happy days. Good car. <laughs> so, mm, it's time to do the... Uh, <laughs> it stinks, doesn't it? <laughs> it's time to do that part that's really not fun. Tell us what's wrong with it, Connor. Let's let's do a walk around, shall we? Should we start with what's right with it? We just did. Oh, That's what this entire video has been. What's right with it, Connor? We'll start at the badge and work our way back since it's a Merc. Yo! Uh -huh. <laughs> it doesn't look like it in most photos, but this car is very, very scabby. Here. Here. I don't even want to talk about this. Oh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about Let's Rust, not. baby. <laughs> Let's talk about one, two, three. <laughs> Even the Instagram episode, Rusty. 
Well, that's a get. Well, it is. It's a given for the arms to be rusty. Bit weird. You nonce. Oh no, you can't. Stop calling me. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, as you can see, there's a. There's just scabs all along it, really. Uh, somebody has touched it in with the wrong color most of the time. We're gonna sort that. Yeah, we're gonna sort that. Uh, I should probably... You'd like to think we'd sort everything, but we're gonna sort <laughs> You'd like to think so, but uh, looking at that wing repair over there. <laughs> Don't look at that. I'd like to point out, that's a one-off. That's, that's ignore us. that, that's not us. <laughs> yes, as of today, we have got ourselves color blank. Uh, <laughs> But it's beige and we tested it on a tin of colour. We got a paint match to the cap, the fuel filler cap, which we actually haven't pointed out is missing at the minute. It is missing. It's missing, but that's because it's in the garage. Um, so we're going to give it a go, but what the overall plan for this is what? Scabby. Rat look. I should leave it alone then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going not quite rat look, but you know, just cool surfer shop daily. The man who's never surfed in his life. I've never surfed. In my so, life. I suppose it's time to show you the worst of it. Oh, don't look at this. No, I haven't really hooked it this much. Connie, you can do it now. <laughs> Should we get the screwdriver out? Let, uh, do you really oh, want? God. Do you want to get the screwdriver out? <laughs> no, not really. Let's get the screwdriver out. <laughs> Enjoy, my friend. I actually do because you know it's me doing all the work on this thing, so you might as well enjoy poking it apart. That's a little board. That's actually oh is it? No no it's okay. I'm going onto the floor. Oh yeah. Oh god no, what happened there? I was expecting resistance and I got nothing. Resistance for the corner. Should have done this when we bought it. We should have done, but you can't. Uh, you can't really dismantle a man's car in his driveway. That's the thing. <laughs> oh you god, <laughs> you're just gonna dismantle it in my driveway instead. <laughs> oh, look. What? Do you see? Um, no. The pinnacle of all automotive repairs. What the hell? Mm, the cardboard. Are you serious? Mm. Where? That's just stuffed in there. Oh, uh, the sandpaper. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Somebody was repairing this. Like, no. I'm glad we didn't hook this before. This is much better entertainment. <laughs> I just remembered, Connor. Yeah. We still haven't shown them the absolute worst part. Which bit? You know what I'm talking about. Underneath. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is. So, uh, a little while back, there was a video going around on Facebook of, I think it was a Toyota Celica in a body shop with a, uh, he was making a custom body kit for it. And uh, Connor, what did he make it out of? Was it expanding foam? Yes, I do believe it was. But body kits aren't structural, right? Body kits aren't. No. Generally speaking. Like when you're driving along and you put your feet on the ground. Yeah. That's structural, yeah? Yeah, that's quite structural. You'd want that to be welded, wouldn't you? You'd want it to be something that wasn't just going to fall apart. Yeah. At the very least. How much was this car, Connor? Very cheap. Very cheap, yeah. <laughs> so, reiterate, how much did we pay for this? Sorry, we? How much did <laughs> how much you did pay, pay for this? for this? £1,900. And how much was the only other one for sale in this country at the time? About seven grand. 7000 Yeah. So, if you were to go and look at that other one... Hey, oh, I don't know. Expanding foam holding on the floors. I would hope not. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm. Yeah. That's... At least they took the time to underseal their foam. <laughs> Did... No, they didn't. You can see it's clear as day. <laughs> they didn't even paint it black. Ugh. <laughs> 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 That's not good. No. No, it's not. Ugh. Let's leave that for now and we'll come back to that whenever I feel like fixing it, shall we? 
So, Hi. now that we've uh, discovered that the body's held together by expanding foam, yeah. what else is wrong with our your very cheap purchase? Well, any passenger who likes to sit here on a rainy day might get a free shower from... I actually don't know where the water's coming in yet. Uh, do you know what? I don't think it is a sunroof. I think it could be the roof rack. You think? Maybe, who knows. It's probably all rotten. I mean... Hard to tell. It's hard to tell, but was that a gap? Is there a gap this, there? I mean, the seal doesn't look great on it, but it was a big leak on it. It is a big leak, that's the other thing, so maybe it is, I don't know. Well, sure, we'll look into that in another yeah. video. Uh, uh. Uh. Yeah. So, and um, we have something more mechanically wrong with it. Yeah, no glow plug light. Mechanically, this car is pretty good, as you will have seen. Yeah, I, I'll give it that. It is. Yeah, there's no glow plug light, which needs connected up just. It's convenience more than anything. It is, it is glowing, the plugs. Yes, we have confirmed that those are working. Yeah. So. Well, what's the plans for this thing then? We'll fix it and we're going to drive it. Yeah, boy! <laughs> we hope. <laughs> we hope. What about looks? Yeah, not too not too pristine, not too polished. It needs a windscreen, actually, which we should have mentioned. Oh, yeah, it needs a windscreen. It also needs a yeah. rear view mirror, which I think uh, the problems are one and the same. Yeah, it's like somebody like laid back and like kicked it against the windscreen. It's a bit weird. Somebody was getting some action and just walloped the windy. I bet she got a serious talking to after that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that's basically it. So, keeping her sort of ratty. You had plans for the roof? Let's put a surfboard on it. <laughs> awesome. I tell you what, I haven't said this to you yet, so this will be a genuine reaction here. Our Dave had the brilliant idea of... So, you know the way you want to put a surfboard on the roof? Yeah. You know the way you have absolutely no interest in surfing whatsoever and you've never been on a surfboard in your life? Yeah. Well, has Dave got the plan for you? He said, <laughs> why don't you have a surfboard, but it's actually a mini bench slash table. So it's a, it looks like a surfboard on the top, but we uh, legs. With like folded out legs? Yes. So That's you have, a good idea. You have the aesthetics, but then whenever everybody else who you're with actually does go surfing, you can sit on your surfboard by the beach and be like, I'm too sick for this, bro. That's a really good idea. Is he going to make it? Well, we could soon find out. That would actually be a cool video in and of itself. Give us a thumbs up and a comment if you think that we should get Dave, the master craftsman, to help us make... <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm still holding my thumb up. Shut up. <laughs> if you think we should get him to help us make an awesome surfboard table. So, yeah. Tell him he should. Tell Everybody, tell Dave that they should, that he should. Um, as yeah. for other things... So we've well, got. It needs some... a good vacuum. Um, yes. You've got that wet. We have thing. got ourselves a proper valet Hoover. So we are going to do a video on just how disgusting your seats are. Not you personally, just um, just my seats. Just every <laughs> yeah, just everybody's seats. Some nice juices. So imagine how imagine how that's going to look. Mm. Uh, what else? We're going to put some extra twelve volt sockets in. We'll show you how to wire those either yeah. either correctly or just a way that works. You can Probably guess. The ladder. Yeah, you can guess which one it's gonna be. Apart from that, oh yeah, we've got speakers coming. We're gonna put a good radio system in it because Connor's never had a car with a good radio system in it before. I suppose that's true. Yeah, that they true. had the Abarth, but it's brand new. You didn't do that. You've never put yeah. speakers in a car in your life. No, that's true. So we could do some beginners guides, or do you want me to just do it? We could do some guides. I'm sure that'd be useful. That would be useful because you, like, we it, in the nicest way, we should point out you are an absolute beginner when it comes to 90% of working on cars. Fair? Yeah. So, this guy will be your man to help you learn how to do stuff. No, correction. I will be the man who will teach you how to do stuff. This man will be you uh, asking questions if you were there. Sounds good, yeah. Sound good? Okay. So, you've seen the ins and outs of our new W123, you've seen what we're going to do with it, so now, well, let's just hope we actually do it, because we have an awful habit of, uh, <laughs> I hope so, starting projects and not actually finishing them, but uh, we'll get to it. What? Fenty, what? Monty? Who's he? We don't want Good, to what, What's Goodwood? Uh, so, yeah, happen. stay tuned, and thanks for watching.
Thanks.